Hi, I'm John Langley. I'm a teacher at Pleasant Plains High School and currently the uh, Instructional Technology Coordinator there for the Pleasant Plains School District. I am honored to lead you through our keynote address for the Flat Classroom Projects. We communicate and collaborate with each other when we play and we're used to it. We're used to helping each other out when we play in games. Uh, we, we communicate with each other, we work together, we work as a team. That's the same thing that we have to do in business. That's what we have to do in education. Um, we, we find ways to make it happen for fun. And we start to catch up a little bit when we get into education and do stuff like this. Uh, it's, it's something that we like to do. We have to find a way to make this kind of stuff happen for us when we get into the real world. So we're going to talk about how to kind of pull that stuff together both aspects, the communication and collaboration aspect together, so we can make the best of it. Alright, while well you go around the side of the bus, I'm going to go around the other side. We'll make sure we kind of converge on these guys. Don Tapscott coined the, the term net generation for your generation. And there's been a lot of other things, labels that have been stuck on your generation, but that's the one that really seems to, to stick out for me and seems to kind of hit home. And basically what he was talking about is that your generation is the most connected, the, the, the one that really takes advantage of technology and the internet. Uh, it kind of goes along with the concept of digital natives. Uh, basically, again, meaning that anything that your generation picks up, they're able to really lock into pretty quickly. Because you are growing up with, with digital technology, it's so much easier for your generation to adapt and pick something up and just go with it. Uh, what we're looking at with this generation, it kind of rolls right into what's going on with the Flat Classroom Project, the communication and the collaboration side of it. And those are the two things that are the most important for any Flat Classroom Project, let alone most important for any project where you have a team working together. One of the things that Tapscott talks about a lot that comes up is the problem-solving skills of your generation. Um, let's look at some of the other qualities of your generation as well. Now, take a look at this clip. This is a clip of my daughter. Uh, she's doing a little problem-solving, and again, just like your generation is, is good at problem-solving, she tried to find a way to have flute practice with her, her uh, partner that was going to be entered with her in a flute contest. They couldn't get together on a particular day, so they decided they were going to Skype their conversation. And in Skyping their conversation, they checked out how they could practice and make that all work out for themselves. The next thing we can look at is the creators. Your generation loves to, to tinker with things, and we've got some really cool video games that are coming out of it. Uh, a lot of schools are starting to incorporate in some tools like Scratch. And the cool thing about that is the, the programs, they're open source, they're free. Scratch, uh, you have the transition up to Alice and then the transition from that up to Unity where you can create 3D games and things like that. Um, all of that creativity, even if it's not captured at school, students, your generation, kids are taking advantage of that and creating some really awesome, cool things. The other thing we're looking at, apps iPhone apps, Android apps, uh, whatever, are being created by teenagers and we're making some really cool things, whether it be games or uh, an app to connect people, to get people to come together. And then of course there are videos, we don't need to elaborate too far on videos, that's the, the most incredible fun that I've had is seeing what comes out of your generation, all of the memes that, that roll in. Um, on YouTube videos. Very creative, very productive, um, a lot of uh, a lot of really neat things coming out of there. And of course looking at the two big ones I've been talking they start talking about the communication and collaboration type skills. Let's start with texting. When we talk texting that's one of the things that we find your generation has really figured out how to do well that sense of communication, that sense of right now. And we also see the flip side of that. If you send a text, 
you expect an immediate reply. In fact, I, there's a student in one of my uh, previous classes that mentioned that if she texted her boyfriend and he didn't text back right away, within maybe a minute, she would assume that something happened to him, something's wrong, that there's some kind of emergency. Now, it, it, first, that sounds really kind of silly, but then I started thinking about it. We have become so used to that immediate reply, that immediate response, that those kind of reactions are becoming normal. We do expect something right now. So if I send you a message, a text message, I expect an immediate response. If I send you an email, I expect a pretty quick reply to that email. And it kind of goes back and forth. Your generation has all of these tools that have totally opened up for you, in addition to texting, tweeting, Facebooking. Um, and we've found that these are not just social tools. These are also being used on a professional level as well. So it opens up a whole new world of what, what can those tools can be used for. And of course, when we look at your generation as the generation of the digital natives, we find that a lot of times students are more capable of figuring out how to use or incorporate technology into a classroom than maybe sometimes the teachers are. And the really cool teachers are okay with that because we want to learn just as much as you do. So if you come in with some kind of technology tool that I'm not familiar with, I want to know. I want to know how it works. I want to know how I can make it do cool things. And that's the beauty of it. Um, a lot of the tools that I've used, I've learned right along with my students, and, and it's probably some of the most enjoyable projects that I've worked on. The other cool thing about your generation is you love to innovate. You love to take something, being the innovators you are, and find new ways to do it. Maybe find a better way to improve on something, a better way to do something than the way it's currently done. That's also a really cool thing about your generation. You don't sit back, you don't just wait. You try to see, how can I do this so I get a better result, or it's simpler, faster, easier, whatever it is. Okay, so I, uh, we've been talking about the, the net gen characteristics and I, I emailed those characteristics and qualities to one of my colleagues. So I arranged a Skype call, so let me go ahead and see if we can get connected with him. <laughs> Professor Tom, how you doing? It's good to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Those sound a lot like the 21st century skills. Yeah, they do. Whoa. Are you okay? That crazy dog, I can't stand that dog. Now, nah, where were we? Uh, we were talking about the net gen. So, yeah, we were talking about the 21st century skills. Right. Uh, those were developed by the Partnership for 21st Century Skills. The ones that educators are trying to instill. Oh, yeah. They include stuff like creativity and innovation, critical thinking and problem solving, communication and collaboration, information literacy, media literacy, information, communication, and technology literacy, civility and adaptability, initiative and self-direction, social and cross-cultural skills, productivity and accountability, and, of course, leadership and responsibility. All very good skills. Alright, well, hey dude, um, I gotta go, so I will catch you later. Okay, good talking to you. Well, as, as uh, Professor Tom was mentioning, we are looking at, at those 21st century skills, and you guys are living them. You guys are, are doing phenomenal at, at demonstrating each of those. As we discussed with Professor Tom, with those 21st century skills, here's what I want you to consider. How is the flat classroom project that you're working on addressing those 21st century skills? 
as you work on communicating using the name, collaborating on the wiki, creating a scene for someone else's video, creating your own video that's going to be expressing how you chose an emerging technology tool, um, how that tool could be used to improve education, business, society in general. Consider how that flat classroom project gets you thinking about a better way to educate, a better way to do business, or a better way to improve society. Now each of you are taking on a leadership role in participating in the project that you're in. You represent your class, you represent your school, you represent the community of that school, you represent the city that you live in, you represent that region, that whole region that you're in, you represent your country, but more importantly, you represent your generation, a connected, collaborative generation. You, the students, have truly taken charge and are running the project. The tools we're using in this project and tools like them are being used throughout the business world. Training sessions and business meetings are both being held through online meetings. The business world is already there and the education world is quickly catching up. The flat classroom projects are creating opportunities for you to cross cultures and distances to collaborate with those at great distances the same way that you would collaborate with somebody who's just across town. You, the net generation, are the leaders who are taking global collaboration and forward thinking to the next level and trying new things. And I am honored to be a part of your journey.